Oh guys, that's the long you waited video. And yes, it has finally come. And that video, I'm really excited about this one. That video is about this smoke alarm. Or should I say, these smoke alarms. That's right, I got three of them. For a really good price too, like $15. Which you might not think is a good price, but for one of these online, it's like $30 because they're so hard to, because people usually just throw them away because they don't really think about it. Or they just keep them up. So, yeah, this is the FireX model, model 120 dash 1072B from April 4th, 2000. This one as well is from April. Oh no, this one's from 2000, July 14th. Then this one is from April. Yeah, April 4th. So these two were put up in the same time. Or, well, they're probably all put up at the same time, but these ones were made, uh, I believe, after. Yeah, after this one. So. So, I do got a battery in this one. Let's do that. Well, and before I test it, they do all work. And there is one bad thing about this. They did not come new in the box, so I did not have the box. But that's always good. That's always fun because I can just get a box. So, I just want to compare. I have three other variants. Of course, I have two more model GCs. But I have three more variants of a Fire X smoke alarm. The GC, the model H, and the PB. Look at the scale. And this, I believe, came before this, actually. If not, at the same time. These ones, this one definitely, I think it, these two actually came before these. And just, they scaled up. They really did. They didn't go nowhere. They just made a bigger model. And these ones were also pretty prone to failures. Which sucked, but I did test these, of course. And they did work, so that's very, very nice. We did have one of these in my house. I actually have it, but uh, we were trying to take off the cover to show me my to see what was inside, and the clips broke off, and then I lost the cover. So I'm gonna throw this one away after this video is done. So yeah, one thing about these is the piezos; they're actually not attached to the motherboard; they're just hanging on to the to this as you can tell if you can yeah you can see it so if you do take off the cover like we did um the piezo will come off so i guess we can test it okay You hear that? This one is, there's a fast beep. Then we can hurry up. That's something about these two. Uh, this one does a fast beep. This one does a fast beep and also, you at, after I'm done testing them, I have to do this. To let all the rest of the juice out, which is kind of annoying. But listen to listen to this. These two are the same. They sound exactly the same. You ready for this one, guys? Yeah. 
these two, these two, or should I say, this one is different than these two. And from what I know, this one was made the same time. So something happened there. Or it's just dying. Which could be the case. Now I'm not gonna test the other one because you know what? Eh, I might as well, actually. You guys are already watching. Okay. Well, I have the mountain brackets here. And I want to try to put them on here. On the arms. And the reason I'm saying it like this is because first off I just forgot that my video was paused. So after we say everything, I did drain out the the battery juice. So the thing is is only this one actually works with its correct mounting bracket. And these two they do not like to go on. Which makes me really mad. But I do have another mounting bracket for, for my other one. So yeah. So I'll be right back. Only this mounting bracket wants to go on any of my screen cameras. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I was able to put the mounting bracket on this one. This one has paint on it, so please work. We're gonna do this one on camera. Oh, I think it's gonna work. I had to put a battery in this one. Of course, it was a non-functioning one. It was an older EverReady. Because the the little red clip that won't let you uh, put the bracket on was not letting me put the bracket on. Now, this one and this one have failed to work. This one is a jerk. That run. So, I... Don't think I'm actually gonna put one on the board. I think I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the alarms now. Now, I don't think I already told you guys this, but these test buttons usually the alarms have these like different type of test buttons, like that have the indentation. This one has, of course, is a little different, but all and all in all, the same. This one also had the indentation one, like like these ones. And what I thought might make these a little rare is these ones have domed buttons. Domed buttons. Each, each one of them. And also what I think is cool. And on on this one, it the LED is right here, right here. And this one would have to have a single button. No just a, a button. And then I think I think this they might have, like, mixed this up a little, like, put the wrong cover on. But I'm not too sure, because I haven't, I could, I can't remember what this one looked like with the cover on. <coughs> but, yeah, so, this was a long review video. And that was the review of the FireX model, the FireX model 120107-2B and uh, I I will be getting another alarm soon hopefully to keep this going and uh, yeah so see you and have a good day